Hey everyone, Marcus here with another Quinn video. Today, I'm going to be doing a Buffalo Nickel Hunt and Album Feel. Um, this is going to be episode one of series one. Um, I got three total Buffalo Nickel uh, albums, and I'm going to try to fill all three just doing eBay purchases and stuff like that. Now, because it's hard to get Buffalo Nickels a lot, and because I haven't been able to go to a coin store in a while, I've been ordering a majority of my Buffalo Nickels online from eBay. So what I'm doing without looking at the Buffalo Nickels is I'm just taking them out of their packages and sticking them in um, the Ziploc bags without altering them, without opening them or anything like that. Um, you know, and I'm just sticking them in this bag like so. So I'll be doing that with all of my buffalo nickel hunts uh, going forward so with the with the hunting film so I'm not always going to be able to post an episode in the series consistently because uh, I actually have to watch how much you know I spend and stuff you know so but I'm going to try to at least you know even things out because I've got more buffalo nickels already and I've got a few more coming so some uh, episodes will be shorter than others some will be longer than others and um it's just going to depend on the amount of buffalo nickels that i have so for today we're just going to be doing this bag and uh we're going to see what we can do now what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort the buffalo nickels out by date and mintage and then what i'm going to do is is i'm going to take the best ones from each one in this package and I'm going to slot them into the album. And then on this piece of paper right here, I will tell you how many of the nickels we slotted today, how many more that we need, and then I will tell you which one, and I will also make a note of which ones that we might need better examples of, okay? So without further ado, let me get into this. Now, uh, unless I find something spectacular going through here that's worth noting, um, you, when you come back, you will see me having these all organized. Okay, guys? So, I'll be back. So, here's a look at all the Buffalo Nickels, guys. Now, I did find some interesting dates, and I'll, I'll talk about a couple of them when I saw them in the books. But, um, the, all these up here are the teens. These are all the 20s and some of the 30s and stuff down here. Um, we pretty much had all of them except for the 21 and the 31, of course. And, um, the 14 Denver. And then we have three right here that I wasn't able to determine whether or not, definitively, whether or not if it was a particular year or mint. So, but I will tell you what the star of the show is out of all of these right here. One coin in particular. This coin right here. The 1926. When I flipped it over, it's a 26S, which only 970,000 of those are minted. It is a key date, so anytime I can get a key date nickel, I will be happy with that. Let me get the bet. Let me get the best example slotted in, and I'll give you a show of the book, and I'll give you a final recap. Okay, everyone, so I've gone through all the nickels and stuff that I have. I've got, as you can see, I've got a lot of them still out, but I filled this album pretty much up to the best of my ability. I'll give you a quick look at it here before I wrap up. That means that we now officially have 31 of the 65 nickels that this album can hold. So through the first series, through the first episode of the first bulk purchase, we have 31 of the 65 that this book holds. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And as always, everyone, keep your eyes out for good stuff, and thanks for watching.